what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of books and buds so I'm just getting back from a delivery it, it's really busy here at burning bush and I spent most of my day today in the gardens because it's harvest time and it's just the trimming and there's watering and there's pruning transplanting you name it and then of course everyone starts getting out of work and they want their medicine so here I am doing my deliveries that's why I'm not in the studio guys it's been busy 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 so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone make a little video while I'm out and about so anyways on this channel we'd like to discuss the books that don't receive as much attention as your national bestsellers like your Harry Potters your Da Vinci Codes and since I'm also an independent novelist I write for Red River Askew Publishing I am familiar with a lot of indie authors and a lot of other authors who write for independent companies who could use the help. That's what we do. We help each other. So I received a message the other day from an independent writer based out of Chicago. She's originally from Arizona. But her name is Maria Jesus Estrada and she wanted me to review her book, Mona's Return. So I said, okay. She messaged me on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and I went over to Amazon since I already have my phone in my hand and before I could even click buy now for 99 cents she messaged me and said all right I'm sending you a free copy right now so she sent me a free copy and she had delivered right to my uh, Kindle for my iPhone so I thought that was very very good of her I mean she knew what she wanted she went for it she went right to the top of my to be read list so that's exactly what I did it was a novelette once again like I said it was called Mona's, Reven uh, Mona's Return and it was a novelette, so it took me a few days to polish her off. I finished the last 30 pages this morning, so here I am. I'm trying to bang it out for her because she's a good person. So, the book is about a young girl named Mona, as you probably imagined, who lives both between the spiritual and the physical world. So, at the very beginning of the book, she uh, is leaving the spiritual world to return to her family in the physical world because she was at school, so now she's on summer vacation, whatever you want to call it, with her regular family in the physical world. She would then have specific instructions not to use her powers because it could cause some serious problems. And of course she doesn't listen because that's how stories work. You want there to be some drama and tension. The reason she doesn't listen is because there are some little birds up in a tree outside of her school and in the physical world. And she can communicate with animals and they want her help. So she goes up there and tries to help them and in the process her school catches fire so that leads to a bunch of nonsense so La Muerta who is another major character in the book it's kind of like her spiritual guide if you will of course La Muerta in Spanish means the death so she's the female version of death she has a lot of powers and she's able to walk Mona through a lot of the problems and try to teach her she's her guide you know and she tells her, I told you not to use your powers, but she had a pretty darn good reason not to use her powers because she was trying to save another animal. She's able to borrow energy from dying animals to help other animals that might need to live a little longer or people, which comes in very handy. Now, Maria is an independent author. I don't believe she's signed to any labels or anything else like that, so I believe she does it all on her own. And you can tell, her work needs a lot of help. She could have easily turned this novelette into a novella at the very best, but I think it could have been extended into a novel because the character development wasn't as tight as it could have been. The, the plotting was a little too fast paced for me and the setting wasn't, I wasn't really in the story as much as I would have liked to be, but like I said, I won't give a bad review, and therefore I'm reviewing this book because I liked it. And I liked it because the story was there, it was extremely interesting and entertaining. I apologize for the music in the background, but this is as real as it gets, folks. I'm listening to Lamb of God. Give you a little taste of what I'm listening to on my deliveries. So that's Lamb of God. Big fan of the metal. Big fan of horror fiction, too. My favorite is literary, but as far as genre goes, I like horror. Now, this book was a fantasy. Motors Return, getting back to Maria Jesus Estrada. So, like I said, I think that she could have done a lot better with this book, but the story was just so darn good that I finished it in a few days. Um, so, this girl, like I said, lives in between these two worlds. Now, 
there's demons in the spiritual world, and they, they exist in the underworld, and they try as hard as they can to do as much damage as they can in the physical world. So what they can do is they can take over people's bodies, and unfortunately they do that to Maria's uncle. Now towards the end of the book, this terrible demon comes up from the uncle world, or the uh, underworld, takes over the body of her uncle and tries raping her, her aunt. So with the help of the Muerta, Mona definitely gets rid of this, this demon. It takes a lot of energy to do so, but she gets rid of this demon, sends him back to the sixth level of the underworld where he belongs, and everything's kind of back to normal. Now, that's pretty much where I come from, saying that this book had a lot of story to it. It was definitely part of a greater story, because at the end we learn that she, her aunt is pregnant with a little baby, and she's going to have some of the same powers that Mona has, so she's, in the next book, she's going to have to want to want to teach her her little niece how to use her powers responsibly. So she's going to need a lot of help from Muerta because she's still a young girl, and she's going to need a lot of help learning how to harness her own powers before she can teach an infant, or when she becomes a toddler, hopefully she learns a lot more. But towards the end of the book, we get to see that she's going to be heading back to the spiritual world for some more schooling. And like I said, it was a very, very good idea for a book. It moved along a little too quickly. I think Maria's got a, a, a lot to learn. But she's got what it takes, quite frankly. Her ideas are there. They're really good. It's written fairly well. It is. That's why I'm doing a review on it. Like I said, it's just not developed as much as it could be. And it was a little too fast-paced for me. But that said, I mean, it's only 99 cents, people. It's only 99 cents. I'm going to leave it a review. I'm going to give her four stars because the story was there. It was very interesting. I'm going to be as real as possible about it. I don't want to tell everybody that it was the best book I ever read and then have them not trust my opinions in the future if they disliked it. But for 99 cents, give it a try for yourself. I think you will agree with me that it was a very good little story and that there's a lot there. With that said, you might even want to read on more because I'd like to see what she can do with one of her novels. She has some novels out to see if she does actually manage to stretch these characters out, develop a little more of the settings, and put together a really cool like world for us to dive into. So I'm really rooting for Maria here. Like I said, she seems like a wonderful person. We're very well connected in the writing community, the online writing community. She's a very nice person. She's very, very supportive of her fellow writers, and that's why I wanted to put a little video together for her. So thank you very much for tuning in. I know it was a quick video, guys. I'll leave a link to her book below. But it's just been very, very busy here lately, so that's why it's such a quick video. I gotta get to the house. I gotta get back to work in the garden. And I gotta get together some more deliveries that I gotta do tomorrow. Busy, busy, busy. I love you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Read more, learn more, love the world. Bye.